This tutorial will guide you into setting up a Windows work environment and rendering your videos in a way that gives you the ultimate quality on YouTube that's possible. This is done by taking advantage of the recommended upload settings that YouTube themselves has proposed for your videos, um, a highly specialized H.264 command line, and a number of third-party tools uh, that help you accomplish this with Sony Vegas and uh, Adobe Premiere. Begin by downloading the presets file that's linked in the description. You can also find it at hedgyhedge.com slash file slash presets dot 7z. Once you've acquired it, open it up with an archiver such as 7zip or bandyzip and check out the readme.txt. This will have updated information should any changes take, uh, take in the project. Now you'll find uh, that you need to acquire four free tools, which is the debug mode frame server, MEGUI, Nero AAC audio codec, and X264 VFW. Once you've acquired these, begin by setting up the debug mode frame server. Install the Sony Vegas plugin to the Sony Vegas program directory. Secondly, open up the MEGUI.zip and extract it to any folder that you like, the contents of the... Next, open up the Nero AAC codec zip, go to the Win32 directory, and head to the MEGUI folder you've just created. Head to Tools, EAC3TO, and extract these EXCs over here. Great job. Next, open up MEGUI. I've closed the folder, so you can just double click on the EXE. Once you've opened it up, head to Options, Settings, External Program Configuration, Enable Nero AAC, and make sure you point it to the Nero AAC ENC.exe you've extracted to the EAC3TO folder. Press Save. Head to File. Import presets. Make sure you've extracted the presets.7z. Import the hedge MEGUI.zip. Select to import all presets that come up. Open up your Sony Vegas project file. Head to the project video properties. Make it look like this. Put it to 32-bit floating point video levels or put it to full range with view transform off and 2.222 video compo uh, compositing gamma. We're going to select best. We're going to select none. We're going to select 5.1 surround sound with the highest sample rate and highest bit rate and the highest resample and stretch quality possible. And you can save this as a, as a template and you can start all new projects with this. Now the next thing you want to do is disable resample for your video clip. So click on your first video clip, hold shift, click on your last video clip, right click, switches, disable resample. If you're doing a bunch of video editing, you probably want to get a script to take care of this. So go on Google, search for um, disable resample Sony Vegas script. You'll get something like this and all you have to do is click that and that does the same thing. Now once you're done, head to render and you're going to select the debug mode frame server that you've just installed. It will show up here. There's nothing to change here so just select render and you're going to have a window pop up with a debug mode frame server. Select YUY2 and uncheck Make sure this is unchecked. Press next. Open MEGUI. Go to Tools, AVS Script Creator, Control R. On Video Input, select the AVI you've just rendered with um, Debug Mode Frame Server. Select the Hedge YouTube AVS. Press Save. For audio input, select the same 
AVI that you've rendered with the debug mode frame server and select the hedge YouTube Nero setting. Under encoding settings for the video, select hedge YouTube 60 FPS. Press auto encode. Make sure this looks like this and queue it up. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you found this insightful and that you'll be using these settings to render your future media projects. If you'd like to stay up to date with these presets, you can subscribe to my channel or you can just subscribe to the playlist that will only deal with video editing. And lastly, please give this video a like and leave a comment so that others can find it when they're searching for the same subject matter.